We're expecting it should be up 20% this year based on the referring agencies that send the clients to us. It is the demand for furniture. This year, the Furniture Bank of Central Ohio expects to serve 4,200 families, hoping to live up to their promise to turn empty houses into homes. But the challenge will be greatest when it comes to wood furniture. We've always found that the fabric furniture gets donated more frequently than the solid wood furniture. It yep. wears out quicker, it goes out of style quicker. So we were constantly noticing we never had enough kitchen tables, we never had enough dressers. So the furniture bank has evolved from storage and distribution site, adding construction site for tables and dressers primarily, working an agreement to receive lumber and particle board from a company in Northwest Ohio, and turning to volunteer labor that have been around the shop a time or two. Like the old guys got out of the house. Okay, <laughs> I wouldn't say you're old. I see you're to perfection. That's right. <laughs> we all have the background of woodworking, so we're all expressing ourselves here. Each dresser represents about five hours of that expression, that hard work. For tables, a little less, and the craftsmen don't have a lot of time to admire each piece. We do about 2,500 here in the assembly process right. and also with the help of the Ohio Department of Corrections and some of their inmates. Uh, and then we'll also probably get about 2,500 in donations. So a combination of the two, we hope to have about 5,000 dressers this year. Couches, chairs, and beds lamps, and now a table, chairs, and dressers, sturdy pieces to stabilize lives. It's fascinating to see how much this process has grown. We started with a little idea, and they've taken it and run with it, which is great.